Hey y'all, welcome to this latest installment. Gr working with grading criteria sets, so a couple tips and tricks. And, you know, I'm always learning something new in this program every day, but looking at the how your templates are configured and how that sets up for your grading. Let's talk about some different ideas and maybe these simple tricks will help out with your grading and just streamline things a bit. So it's just a lot quicker, less uh, less enters, less less buttons to punch punch in every single time. So let's go ahead and let's jump into civil. Let's take a look at some uh, working with grading criteria sets, locking, unlocking. Um, what does that mean? How it's all going to work, and uh, and all that jazz. All right, get into civil. All right, so I am gonna close this down right here. So I have a just really simple surface and a feature line that's ten feet, ten feet above it. So if I just I'm just gonna grab an object viewer, let's take a quick look at what we're lay the land what we're working with here. So just a feet. Surface down here, four points, planar, not even a contour in it, and our feature line elevated 10 feet above the surface above it. And we're going to do some different grading techniques down to this surface, relative elevation, things like that. All right, close an optic viewer. Uh, prospector, let's go into our settings tab. And under settings, uh, six one down, grading. And then we have a, you know, three elements. Let's get into your template and, you know, the frosting on the cake, how all that works. So grading, and then we have grading styles here. So how it all looks. And then going to the next one, we have our grading criteria sets. And let's crack each of these open, and then we're going to dance with them in a second when we, uh, when we actually work with this in Civil. All right, so first one, I have this editable. So just an editable grading set. And let's say, let's just grab my grade to surface right here, and we're going to edit it and take a look at what that means. So edit. And, you know, information tab, just the name, who it was created by. And then the criteria that is part of our grade to surface. So target surface, projection, cut fill slope, cut first, it's the search order. And then it's going to ask us format, slope, and what's the slope to get there. And so notice two to one and two to one. And then notice on this right column here, everything's unlocked. So what that means is I can change that as I am going. And that also means it's going to prompt me every single time I use this grading criteria if I want to use slope or grade and if I want my slope to be 2 to 1 or if I want to change it to something different, say 3 to 1. Okay, so fairly, fairly easy. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at what locked, how a lock setup looks like and then we'll look at a partial one after that. So minimizing, edible, let's go to locked here and let's just grab the same grade to surface right here. So edit. And I you know, made things a little different here, but just notice that surface cut, our search orders fill first, notice that's locked. And then we have our cut and fill. So notice I, I did something kind of wild here. I did you know, either for, I made one grade, one slope. So slope is four to one for a cut scenario and grade is 25% for a fill scenario. Same thing, just different formats. And then Average interior slope for interior corner overlap is uh, locked as well. So everything is locked. And what that means is I am not going to be given an option to define what I want as I'm going. It already knows. So and we're going we're gonna to play with this in a second. All right, last one here, partial. And let's go ahead and let's just crack open surface here. And so notice here, I just left a couple locked, a couple unlocked. So the, the two I left, uh, the two I locked was the format. So it's going to be slope for both. So it's not even going to ask me if I want to do slope or grade. It already knows. So let's go ahead and let's just run through these three scenarios and how this all works. All right, I want to select everything, home tab, grading, grading creation tools. And generally speaking, if this is your first time and you're doing your grading, then you know you, this is a left to right format. Set the grading group. Create the grading group if it's not there. Set the target surface. If you have more than one, you will have to define your target surface. And here's our grading criteria sets right here. So let's go up to the top one, editable. Okay. And we're gonna do grade to surfaces for the fourth one down. So grading group one, grade to surface, surfaces EG, and boom, boom, we're gonna do great grading. Okay, so select that feature line. And I'm gonna go outside and around the entire length, so yes. And then now it says, hey, do you want to do for your cut format, slope or grade? Let's just leave the cut as default. So we'll just say enter for slope, cut slope two to one, which is predefined in those criteria sets. And notice fill here. What do you, how do you want to get there? 
So, or what format he wants to get there. So let's say grade here, let's just change it. And let's go 33%, three to one. Okay, we've created our grading. And notice I was able to change that. I was able to edit my, how, like the format and the slope or grade to get there. All right, let's go ahead and just escape here. I'm gonna select this grading, I'm gonna delete it. Now we're gonna go with our, delete grading. Now we're gonna go with our second our locked criteria set here. So I'm changing my criteria set, say okay. And we're gonna grab this fourth one down here, that grading to surface one. I'm gonna initiate the command, select the feature. And we're gonna select the grading set right here and apply the entire length and then watch this here. It's not even gonna ask me a single question, it's just gonna go right here, enter. Now my surface is graded all the way up. Based on that, I've got four to one, that four to one slope and 25%, 25% grade. So it just runs with it, it already knows. And then, so if you have everything all locked out, it's not even gonna ask you a question on how you wanna get there or what format. All right, let's do the same thing one more time with a partial. Okay, so remember the format was locked. So we have slope and slope for both. So we'll say, okay, great grading. Like the grading side, plot entire length, yes. Oh, elevation, I don't want to do that. Oh, grading, grade gradation tools. Let's make sure I have the right group, partial, okay. And grade surface right here, okay. Select the feature, I'll select the grading side on the entire length. Notice, when I, right as I said around the entire length, and just said wiper, yes, it went straight to cut slope. Slope is the format now. What, what are the parameters to get there? Now say we wanted to, I mean, this isn't a cut scenario, but say we wanted to change it, two to one, three to one, enter. We can change that. Say we want to change our fill slope from two to one to three to one, let's do that. We can change that. So sum it all up, a couple different ideas on how to streamline things. So if you want to have everything fully editable all the time, that's, uh, that's how the defaults are set up with Civil 3D. Keep in mind, it's gonna be a lot of enters. So you're gonna be, you know, you're always gonna have to define is it cut? Or is it a uh, slope or is it a grade? And what are the parameters to get within each of those? If you do fully locked out, you don't even have to punch in a single value, but you're very constrained. So, I mean, everything's locked in in terms of the slopes, the grades and all that. So if you have really, if you, if you, if you know exactly how you're gonna be getting there in the format, that could not be a bad idea. And then the third way, partial. So say you're working, we know we're working in slope, you can lock that out just so you're not hitting enter every single time. So, hey, thanks for tuning in, and um, hopefully you have a great rest of your week.